Hello. In this video, we are going to derive an expression for the number of moles of a solute that is extracted from an aqueous solution into an organic solution. We can define a partition coefficient, K, which is essentially going to be equal to the concentration of our solute in the organic layer divided by its concentration in the aqueous layer. The reason why this is not an exact equality is that the uh, partition coefficient is technically the ratio of the activities of the solute in the various solvents rather than simply its concentration. But for most purposes, we're justified in using just the concentrations and that's what we're going to do in this derivation. So if we assume equality, we can rewrite this relationship as follows, and this version will be useful for us in our derivation. Notice that the uh, solute that's remaining in the aqueous solution is shown in blue, and the concentration of the solvent in the organic phase is shown in red. Let us define a couple of variables. One of them is going to be N subtote, which is going to be the total number of moles of solute S no matter which phase it might be in. Then N sub one are the moles of S, the solute, that are left in the aqueous phase after we have done one extraction. So the one as a subscript refers to the fact that we've done one extraction step. So we know that the concentration of the solute in the organic phase is equal to the total number of moles of solute that we started out with minus n sub 1, which is the amount that is left in the aqueous phase, divided by the volume of the organic phase. Then we have the concentration of S aqueous. So this is the concentration of the solute in the aqueous phase after we've done one extraction step. And that's equal to n sub 1, that's the number of moles left in the aqueous layer, and divided by the volume of the aqueous layer to give us the concentration. Our next step is to take these two expressions for the concentration of S in the two different phases and to substitute them into this particular equation. So substituting into this equation, we get that K times N1 divided by the V sub aqueous is equal to N total minus N1 divided by V org, the volume in the organic phase. Then we use the property of fractions to break this fraction down into the difference of two different fractions. Then we take this version of the equation and then simply add n1 divided by v org to each side to get this particular expression. And note now that we have n sub 1 all on one side of the equation and n total on the other side. Now we take the expression on the left hand side here and simply factor out the n sub 1 to get the resulting expression that we have on the right hand side of the bottom line. So next we take this sum of fractions and then find a common denominator and write them as this single fraction on the right hand side. So then we take each side of this equation and multiply it by the reciprocal of this particular fraction. So that gives us the reciprocal on this side times n total over v org, and then we simply have n1 on the right hand side. Then we notice on the left hand side that v org cancels, and we're left, if we flip it around to make it look nicer, that n1 is equal to v aqueous divided by k v org plus v aqueous times n total. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Please stay safe, and as always, have a good one.